It's been producing coal for more than a century and was responsible, of course, for one of the region's worst ever mining disasters. But tomorrow, Maltzby Colliery will shut for good. The closure will leave Yorkshire with just two pits, one at Hatfield and one at Kellingley. Compare that with the picture back in the industry's heyday, of course, in the 1980s, the decade of the miners' strike, when there were 56 pits and the collieries employed nearly 60,000 men. But by 1994, there were only 12 pits left, and that number was down to four by 2004. Well, now miners' leaders say the Maltby closure could be the beginning of the end for the industry in the region. Dan Johnson has this. Packing up and leaving behind 105 years of mining history. Today, Maltby's union officials cleared their office and left the pit for the last time. The sense is just sadness, really. A lot of men have worked here 20, 30 years. I um, thought they would see the working life out here now. They're having to make decisions in the life where they go, what jobs to try and find. Yeah, I've been told by uh, ex-miners who've got jobs elsewhere. They said it's totally different from working in a mine. We go to work, we have a laugh. It's, I wouldn't say it's always been a pleasure, but we've always had a laugh coming to work. It, working in bad conditions, but your friends make it better, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to miss that as well. The mining industry has gone through huge changes. As pits have closed, miners have transferred to different collieries, and now most of those who work here at Maltby don't actually live in the local area. But that doesn't mean the village won't feel the impact of this mine closing. <laughs> Sizzler's sandwich shop used to get big orders from the pit. Not anymore. Last order was well, probably a tenner. Before that, when they were ordering, when they were all working, it was like 60, 70, 80 quid. So it lasts like twice a week, so it is quite a big difference. Underground geological problems made mining at Maltby impossible. Officially, the pit is being mothballed, but there's little chance it will reopen. 540 miners are losing their jobs, although 30 or 40 are transferring to the company's other mine at Hatfield, near Doncaster. However, a major landslip of the colliery tip there has closed the railway line and left questions over its future. The long-term security of Yorkshire's only other remaining pit, Kellingley, is also far from guaranteed. I can see that, you know, we may end up losing all deep mine in this country. But I tell you, only a fool would say that in 50 years' time we wouldn't be mining again because it's a rich resource down there uh, and it's sad that we're letting it go, quite frankly. So another pit closes and more miners are out of work. It's happened in village after village across the Yorkshire coalfield, but it won't happen many more times. Tomorrow there's a march here to mark the end of a way of life. Dan Johnson, BBC Look North, in Maltby. Oh,